Okay, and we're back. I think one of my hard drives is about to pack it in. Uh, so, I think that's what caused the crash. Anyway, worry about that later. Just going back up to scanner and going upload to scanner. And here we go, you'll see it uh, running the update file. And how quick it is. Not a heap of stuff programmed in. She'll reboot, she'll start. There's our intro stuff that uh, you can program as per that general tab. And away she goes. And maybe, just maybe, we'll turn her up. We'll see whether we get that uh, RMS to come up. I seem to be doing a bit of broadcasting. Let's see what we get. Okay, so there you go, you just seen that uh, the RMS police has come up, and that's what we programmed, rather than coming up with a radio ID that it was showing there before, which was, what was it, uh, 10702 I believe, and so it shows up RMS police, just like it is now, perfect timing, and the blue LED is coming up on the top there as well. So that's pretty much it, that's uh, pretty much some basic programming, we'll swing back to the computer, there we go, and uh, so that's pretty much some basic programming of your talk systems and your, your, your digital systems uh, and your GRN if that's what you want to listen to and uh, what I did also notice earlier was I did have a talk group here that just popped up and I might show you that as well in the video hopefully you've, you've already seen it was 10402 just popped up and, and it sounded like it was possibly encrypted Now, sometimes I have, well, I believe I've noticed that sometimes a, a talk group or a talk group ID, radio ID, may have some, uh, may have some encrypted broadcasting coming through, broadcast of trans, uh, sorry, encrypted transmissions coming through, but then other times it will come through with unencrypted. So, what I'm going to do here is go through and, and I'm going to leave that as 10402. But what I'm going to do is go over and pick an LED. Let's go. Oh, look, we've got one that says multi down the bottom there. So I'm going to select multi and, and I'm going to save that as I always do. I'm going to go through and, and highlight all those 10402s as multi. So it obviously flashes up different colors. And that's going to tell me that I'm not sure whether that's encrypted or not. Now, every time it comes up, I'll be paying attention. It starts flashing. I'll make sure I look over the radio and listen to see whether it's actually encrypted data come through or encrypted voice that's coming through. And if it continually broadcasts as encrypted, I'm going to go and lock it out so I don't hear it anymore. So that, that's one of the benefits of actually having it set up like this, having your monitor control going and having it adding all your talk groups uh, rather than just going in and, well, I suppose you can just go in and insert the ones you want, but because I've done the wildcard setup, and you'll see it in the bottom, uh, the wildcard is still there. So it, it, in addition to bringing up all of these different talk groups here, and it's going to identify those as I go through and add the alpha tags, and it's going to keep a hit list, so I'm not going to know how many times I'm receiving those broadcasts. I'm still receiving anything else that's coming through because I've got the wildcard inserted there. Eventually I can probably get through and, and, and pull that out, but uh, I, I might leave that there so that way I can go through and you know, lock out those talk groups that are going to be encrypted or whatever and still pick up all the additional traffic that's coming through that I haven't identified as yet or that might pop up from time to time that might be interesting to listen to. You will see by default up here it does uh, put uh, the AGC on it and, and the super track. I'm not sure why it does that. I have turned it off uh, on, on the majority of them but I've left it on some so I'll you know, pay some attention and see what's going on there. Uh, the other thing uh, over here, your format as far as your talk groups goes uh, I, th I don't know whether it, sometimes it shows hex if you go down hex you're going to see these it's um, going to show up these groups uh, as uh, alpha numeric so you can see they, they're that one uh, which we've got 10402 uh, it's showing up as 28 alpha 2 uh, what I've actually done you can sometimes go to native and it will show up 10402 because that's the way it's going to possibly show up on your radio uh, but I've actually just gone decimal uh, and, it, and it's showing those up all numeric, so 10402 there. It's just a bit easier to, to do. One other thing 
that you also need to be careful of is that sometimes you may have a talk system programmed in but you don't have any talk groups listed under that or associated with that talk system you need to make sure you do that otherwise sometimes you're going to encounter some error messages more specifically though and I, I'm not entirely sure how it happens maybe I've gone through and deleted a I've, I've had it running like this it's added in a, a talk group uh, which has been I can see listed under all objects here and then maybe I've gone through and deleted the talk system. Now I was getting an error message which was saying something like uh, heap error and when uploading to the radio I was getting one saying heap full. Now that basically means that you've uh, either got a talk group that doesn't have any talk systems associated or a talk system that doesn't have any talk groups associated. Now if it's a talk system that doesn't have any talk groups associated you can just click on them here and you know you should see something down the bottom here for each of those if it's a talk group that doesn't have an associated talk system what you can do is go down here and, and here's all your, your talk groups listed down the side here or, or what object type it is and then if you've got one that doesn't have a talk system associated to it uh, and I don't have any examples to show you over in this column here which we've uh, which where the cursor is it's going to say not associated, I think, to, to a talk system or something along those lines. So it's really easy to identify. So if you get a heap error message of some description, pop in, have a look all at all your talk groups, go through this, uh, this uh, screen here, which is all objects, just scroll down, see if you have one that says unassigned or, or not associated, and then just pop over to your talk systems and click on each of your talk systems and make sure you've at least got a wild card or you've actually uh, programmed in a specific talk group down here to listen to and, and that will avoid all those messages. Save that, go back, upload it to your radio and away you go. One issue I did have with that though was uh, I, I predominantly noticed that when I was in scanning mode and then I went over to go to manual, <clears throat> that's when I'd get that error. Uh, I'd get a heap error. And, and sometimes it was coming up, I'd turn the radio off to get it to work again, turn it back on, she'd come up, she'd be great for a sec, and all of a sudden I'd get that heap error message again. If you get that, what you want to do is go and sort out your programming here, repair any errors uh, as I've just instructed, turn, uh, go up to scanner here, highlight your upload to scanner, turn the radio off, turn it back on, and immediately hit this upload to scanner. Uh, before it gets a chance to go uh, into error mode otherwise you, you may find it it's pretty quick and it's hard to get that uh, upload going in time before it actually goes into that error state so turn the radio off have it all ready to go turn it back on as soon as it comes back on hit upload to scanner and you'll see the upload goes if you don't and it goes into its error state you won't actually be able to upload to the radio or you may find it very difficult to upload to the radio and you may encounter some error message which will, like it did to me, make you think you've bricked your radio. You just need to be a little bit quick and uh, know what you're doing there. So that's pretty much it. That's uh, programming a talk system. Uh, I, I may, I haven't had a play with the, the search or the sweeper objects. That looks pretty straightforward. I may come back later on and do some other videos on the radio about uh, just, I don't know, just using it day to day, a few little things that I've figured out. Mm, yeah, like a typical bloke, I haven't paid too much attention to the manual. Had a bit of a look, but predominantly I just you know, sit down, push buttons, and and go from there. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Again, thanks very much for stopping by. Feel free to like, subscribe uh, if you like this sort of radio stuff, and and if you've got one of these radios, and hopefully I'll put up a few more videos of these. And I do, you know, a bit of ham radio stuff and whatnot, uh, and a bit of a variety of stuff. Anything that I think others might find interesting. One word and note, though, is that when I'm when I got this radio, and, and as we all do, you, you jump on websites and you, you're frantically, you know, you're looking for any information you can get, you know, while you're waiting for something to be delivered, you, you're taking in anything and everything you can find. Heap of videos with scanners where guys, you know, you see in 30 second and 30 second videos or one minute videos where guys have just got the scanner sitting in front of the, the camera and, and they're just recording the scanner doing its thing. I'm not sure whether those hold value for other people. For, for me, it's balls the piss out of me. 
and irritates me to no end. You know, I, I go to a video looking for some information and it's just some guy. Every now and then there might be something interest, uh, you know, there may be some broadcast that's coming through that's that's interesting, like a car chase or something. But I'll leave, believe that may actually be illegal to rebroadcast information that you've captured. Uh, that's why we've kept it fairly short snippets here, uh, stay under the radar, all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, you know, 30 second video. In fact, anything that's 30 seconds or less on, on YouTube, I'll just delete it. Uh, and I wish there was a way to avoid those videos. Anyway, uh, great. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. Any comments, questions, or anything that you think is going to help me program the radio or anything that I should know, give me a heads up. And, and certainly if there's a way to go through and, and identify talk groups globally, uh, under all of the talk systems that would be great rather than making me go through all those individually cheers guys enjoy your scanning enjoy your day happy new year and all that sort of stuff Aru.